This is the Gigabyte M32U, Gigabyte's latest gift to a world that's so deprived of good 4K monitors. But this is a 4K 144Hz 32 inch beast of a monitor that... Hold on. Am I having deja vu here? I'm pretty sure I already did this. Oh no, that was the Aorus FI 32U. But if Gigabyte already have a 4K 144Hz 32 inch monitor, then what enough is the point of this thing? Well, it's, um, complicated. So yes, on paper, spec-wise, it looks to be exactly like the FI32U, which I recently covered, which I highly recommend you check out, it's gonna be up in the iCards. I'm serious, I'm just gonna wait here until you check out the video. You done yet? But the M32U isn't a Aorus monitor, rather it's just a gigabyte one, which just means that it's less gamery in appearance, for one thing, but also it's supposed to bring the M28U, the other gigabyte non-Aorus 4K 144Hz display, more in line with the amazing Aorus line of 4K displays. Because while the M28U was a pretty good monitor, pretty much any monitor that can do 4K 144Hz is a pretty big win in my book, the brand new line of Aorus 4K displays made it kind of obsolete. And seeing how apparently it had so few features of note, that the best tagline that Gigabyte could come up with was the world's first KVM monitor? Wow, that sure sounds exciting, huh? And while they kept the same tagline on this monitor, they at least tried to make it more competitive, so now feature-wise it's pretty much identical to the FI32U. It brings up the display to 10-bit compared to the 8-bits of the M28U, and also increases the brightness of the display. So what exactly makes it different from the FI32U? Well firstly the look. It's supposed to look way less gamery than the gaming-oriented Aorus brand, but it still looks really nice and modern. So you won't be getting stuff like RGB with it, but I know there's a lot of people out there who absolutely love it about this monitor, because, well, surprise, surprise, not everyone likes RGB. The other main thing is its KVM capabilities. While the FI32U and other monitors in the Aorus 4K lineup can already act as KVMs, this one does have a few extra USB ports to make it more so. And when it comes to differences, that's about it, unless you really care about the fact that the Gigabyte model has speakers unlike the Eros one. But let's be honest, most of us will be using our monitors built in speakers anyway. So it mainly comes down to what you want your monitor to look like. If you want the whole gamery Eros aesthetic, then totally go for the FI32U. But if you want something more grounded, or if you just want the better KVM capabilities, well, now we have the M32U as well. But if you want to buy any of these Gigabyte monitors, then our Amazon Associates links are going to be down in the video description below. If you use those, you don't pay anything extra while we earn some money, so it's a big win-win. If you want to help support the channel in other ways, then maybe consider subscribing, because according to YouTube stats, only around 3% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so subscribing would go a long way. Or maybe even support my channel on Patreon, which is also going to be down in the video description below. Because even $1 a month goes a long way in helping my channel, and allows you to make way better videos along with videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Land B, and Coming Edge Clothing. Thank you guys so, so much. Danny you're also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me or us or this or whatever else really. If you have any tech questions or you just want purchase advice, join us, it's awesome. And then there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye.